The Carter G. Woodson Memorial Award is presented each year in conjunction with the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, a group created by Dr. Woodson. Sylvia Cyrus, the Association's Executive Director, is here again to help present this year's award. The award is presented to an individual, NEA affiliate or institution whose activities in black affairs significantly impact education and the achievement of equal opportunity. Our winner this year is from the state of Washington. Hi, I'm Kim Mead, president of the Washington Education Association. What Dr. Quintard Taylor started 11 years ago as a reference page for the University of Washington faculty has grown into a valuable resource beyond even his dreams. I know when I need information, I can find it at blackpast.org. These students are excited about the homework they did last night and are eager to share what they learned with their teacher, Mr. Lee. He gave them each a name of a prominent African American and asked them to research their subject using the online reference website blackpast.org. No matter the topic, each student found a wealth of information with documents, transcripts, timelines, videos, and anything else they would need to complete their reports. Having a website, that's what kids want to operate with. That's what they want to work with. They don't want to work out of a textbook. Blackpast.org is the brainchild of history professor Dr. Quintard Taylor of the University of Washington. Although the website is independent of the university, it has become a teaching aid and valuable resource to educators and students from elementary school through grad school. Dr. Taylor first created the site in 2007, and over the years it has grown to include over 3,000 entries with more than 13,000 pages. Blackpass.org is updated daily by an international group of over 600 scholastic advisors, teachers, and students, is completely free to use, and is accessible throughout the world. The site is maintained through the means of in-kind contributions, donations, and corporate sponsorship. Users can read the text of nearly 300 speeches by African Americans, other people of African ancestry, and those concerned about race, Dating from 1789 to the present, they can view over 200 video documentaries, thousands of photographs, and nine major timelines that show the history of people of African ancestry from 5 million BCE to today. You can also find six gateway pages with links to digital archive collections, African and African American museums and research centers, genealogical research websites, and more than 180 contemporary African and African American newspapers. The site also has special features that include a Barack Obama page, an LGBTQ page, a page of African American firsts, and a Landmarks and Monuments page that lists well over 100 state and federally recognized landmarks related to African American history. I would definitely trust Black Past, especially if I wanted to get different perspectives. Blackpast.org has come to be recognized as the online resource for anyone anywhere in the world looking for information on the African and African American experience, both past and present. It's an ever-growing portal to the truth, waiting to be explored. Ladies and gentlemen, here to accept the award is Black Pass Org founder, Dr. Quintard Taylor. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm not going to be emotional tonight, uh, but I do want to thank the National Education Association 
for selecting me as one of the award recipients tonight. And I want to say a special thank you to the person who made this possible, Valerie Fisher. Where is Valerie? There, there she is over there. I wish we had time to tell that story, but we don't. If anybody wants to know, I'll tell them later. Uh, by, by awarding me tonight, you are not honoring me. You're honoring the work of more than 700 volunteer content contributors and 12 volunteer staffers who work around the world and around the clock to make blackpass.org possible. You are honoring those who share a single goal to make Black Pass the best place on the internet to find historical information on African Americans and people of African ancestry around the world. In other words, if you want to know about black people in this state, in the state of Florida, come to blackpass.org. If you want to know about people of African ancestry in Mexico or in India or even in China, come to blackpass.org. We launched, we launched blackpass.org on February 1st, 2007 with only 100 entries. Today, there are more than 4,000 entries and over 13,000 pages of information. Those entries touch every state and every continent all around the world. Black Pass is being used by a global audience. Before the end of the year, more than 4 million people will come to this website. As we speak right now, somebody in St. Petersburg, Florida, and somebody in St. Petersburg, Russia, is using blackpass.org. Our goal is to, yes, yes, Russia. I actually visited Siberia on the basis of blackpass.org. Our goal is to increase that audience and to increase the information available to it. We want blackpass.org to be in every classroom in America. Let me repeat that, because this is a special mission for me, because I'm here in front of the largest group of teachers that I probably will ever be in front of. We want Black Pass in every classroom in America. We hope that you will help us get Black Pass in front of all those classes and all those students, that you will become ambassadors for blackpass.org. We've already started the process. This is not part of the script. We've already started the process before, because the New York City Board of Education has agreed to use blackpass.org. Uh, we just found out about that yesterday. We will continue. We will continue down that path. Now, we're not trying to build, we're not trying to reach a larger audience simply for bragging rights, a larger audience for Black Pass simply for bragging rights. Folks, I don't need to tell you that there is a racial crisis in America right now, as evidenced by events in Ferguson and Baltimore and now in Charleston. We believe that this racial tension so evident in this nation can be addressed by knowledge. Now, I'm not naive about this. A website alone will not stop police brutality or solve the education achievement gap for African Americans, but it can reduce the tension if people choose to use it. Blacks, whites, Asians, Latinos, Native Americans, we all have so much to learn about each other. And we hope that at least in terms of African American history, that that, that learning process can begin with blackpass.org. Once we begin to learn about each other, then we begin to respect each other. We believe, we believe blackpass.org is a starting point for that knowledge. Thank you very much. Thank you to the NEA and use blackpass.org.